Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 9 of the Let's Play 3.0 series, and my plan for this episode is to head off to the dregs and take on our first dungeon. We, we should be more than, more than capable of doing that now. Uh, but before we do that, we'll just go over what has happened between the last episode and this episode. So, as you can see, I'm wearing some different armour. Uh, I was in the Sinner's Refuge for quite some time, uh, going through looking for Tier 4 Thralls in there. And over the, the period, I ended up picking up a full set of the Azura armour. So you can see it's light armour. But the hood gives you plus six agility, plus six percent agility weapon damage. The chest gives you plus forty health. The gloves is the plus ten percent concussion damage that we saw last episode. The leggings gives you plus forty health, and the boots are plus eight follower damage. So I think we'll we'll run with this set for at least for this episode. It, it looks quite cool, although. And it's really difficult to see anything out of that hood, I would have thought. But hey-ho. Um, we tamed another of those guys that are over there. So this is Eric the Slayer. So he's still at level zero. In fact, he's still got a stone sword. I haven't even... But I've, I gave him the old set of heavy armor because we made this set for Tessa. And this is the Bar Barakan? Barachan? Reaver set, so it's also a heavy armor set, but plus 20 health on each piece, so that gives her another 100 health on top of what she had before, uh, and it's 580 as opposed to 400 for the, the actual armor itself. It's, I mean, it's a quite a nice set, apart from the hat. I think most people say that that hat, how that hat is classed as heavy armor. I, I don't quite understand, but it's kind of piratey, so it kind of goes well with our with our wee ship that we've got here. But like I said, we were in the Sinner's Refuge last episode, getting a couple of thralls, and I have been farming in there for for quite some time. Uh, that's the cook that we got before. We now have a Sir Bow Bowen, the Enforcer, so I did have him running on the wheel. Uh, I've brought him back down here because in a bit when we upgrade to the next, I think at level 50 we upgrade to the next Wheel of Pain. Once you do that, having a tier 4 torturer in the work table, or a tier 4 um, taskmaster in the torturer's work table, should I say, that'll unlock the chain bindings, which are metal high durability bindings. Uh, we put, we got, we found a Zamorian Archer three, so we just took out that one and put him in there. Hopefully, he'll be able to tan hides a bit quicker. Uh, we've got a Izzy Up Skin Grafter I named a what is he named Tanner? Yeah, he is. A, he is a named Tanner. Uh, we got two armorers, so we've got. Chelkus the Smith, who, um, oh, I've forgotten what these symbols mean, but I, I think this symbol means that they basically make higher durability um, armor. And we've also got Zavek, who this one I believe is higher a uh, weight reduction, so, so so less weight on the on the armor pieces. The actual one we want is the one that gives you. It's, I think it's a shield symbol, and it gives you more armor. But yeah, well, not too bad. We've got two two named archers, armorers even. Uh, we've got Kiem of Azura. I think we got that in the last episode. So it's a named carpenter. We got Mij of Azura. So he's an alchemist, so we've put him on the fireball cauldron. We've got another one who's across on the on the alchemist bench. Um, and we got a Larathil of Azura, uh, who's a named Smith. No, not a Smith, Smelter. Uh, I think that I think that's small. Yep, there's nobody else. Over here. You can just see the other one over there. So we're all in a Razura 
garb. But yeah, so I think that's all we've done since the last episode. So the thing we're going to do is we're going to do the dregs. So in order to do the dregs, as if you've seen the, the previous Beginner's Guide series, we need a bow and arrow. So we're going to have to learn bows. Uh, any old bow will do because you're just shooting targets for puzzles but since we're actually going with the agility build we're actually going to become an archer or at least to a, a certain extent so what's the best one what is that Pictish bow I might not have the stuff to make all these Hyrcanian bow ancient bow I wonder what you need to make an ancient bow Uh, thick leather, silk, steel bars. Ooh, I do. We've got the thick leather. Do we have silk? We've got a bunch of silk, of course, because we, we got all the gossamer off of that um, spiders a while back. We'll take some of that, and we'll take some of that. Oh, maybe I didn't take some of that. Give me some of that. 50 will do. Put that in there. Uh, and we need six steel bars. Craft. And I I got iron. I, I picked up 76 iron head arrows off of the various mobs that I was dropping them. A while farming in Sinner's Refuge, so that'll do us for us now. Alright, so let's put that on there, put the arrows in the boat. Uh, we've got bandages, we've got food, we've got our... Well, let's put all our taming stuff in here for us now, just in case. Okay, and then we'll... Have you got food? Uh, could be doing with a little bit more food. That'll do. Let's take that in you. And take the undead horse. You are really heavy. I guess we don't have the plus, the bonus uh, for carrying stuff. Oh, oh, because I've still got two. Uh, right, put you on. Down off the bottom of my inventory, I never even noticed. So we've got two Mitra priests named Mitra, Mitra priests. Uh, one is Alethdox Twox, Speaker of Azura, and Vatende, Confessor of Azura. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware, but I believe all the, the characters, the Azura characters, are actually named off of community players. Um, so on, on some of the, I think it's on the forums, the, these characters, they uh, are Corm, Corms, all these Azura guys are all like actual players who, who work in the community on the forums and stuff like that and they got put into the game by Funcom, which is a, a nice little feature. Right, so we're going to head all the way along Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's get off the horse, get back on the horse. Uh, we're going to head along here, but we're not going to go in the front end through Skulker's entrance. We're going to go up the top and come come down, save us having to fight all our way through. So it's the same way as we went round to Sepamaru a couple of episodes ago, or last episode, in fact, when we went to, to go and get the, the truncheon. So we'll come down to the end of the the river and then we'll follow that snake path up there and then come across here and we'll come in this way so i will head up there and i will see you when i get there okay see you in a bit hello goodbye okay we're back so i'm up here on the map you can just see where we've actually come past the, the dregs a bit because these three dots there are these three vents here and that's where we will exit the dungeon. So I'm going to leave our horse uh, somewhere around 
here. And then we run back down the hill. And you can just see in the distance there the purple smoke of the the dregs obelisk that's just on the top of the entrance. So we may as well attune ourselves to that while we're while we're here. Tessa's still coming, yep. Oh, it's really, really steep down here. So we're gonna have to do some climbing to get out of this sand. Alright, so we. Oh, oh we've fallen, fallen way too far now. So maybe easier if we climb up this bit. Climbing skills. There we go, and then rest up, and then climb up here. And there it is. Ooh. That's why I always keep the space bar pushed so that you Grab it's falling again. Come on. Because we are going to start running out of stamina. There we go. Right. I'm just going to run in. Click a tune and run back out again. So, is that a journey step? Yep. Tune to an obelisk. And then we have to get back down again. Level attributes. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, let's let's go more more in agility. That up a bit. Uh, which is the way down down here? Actually, that's the steps that we want to get to. Can we get down there? And grab on the last second. Yeah, there we go. that worked out well. Right. Now we have to drag these guys in, because as the ghosts show here, we have to do a sacrifice on this stone. Ah, oh, come on, archers. In you come. Oh, I'm not going to be able to pull an archer down here. Ah, oh, here we go, here's melee. Come on, come on, on here. Come on, take. Take him out. Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh. What? Right. You. Oh, kill them. Fight her. Fight her. This way. That's it. That's it. Right. Kill you on the stone. And then get off of it. As it rises up. And we can get bound down inside it. Go. And in the loading screen. Right. Here we are. So we've got a tablet here. Learn that. We get the dredger. Which is one of my favourite. Where is it? So much stuff now with all the battle pass stuff. Spell it correctly. There it is. So that gives you the glowing stick, which is my favourite torch. Breathing potions glow in excellent, and then standing and wall torches, and how to make the abyssal meat. Uh, but yeah, we have got a glowing stick, which we need bone and glowing goop for. There's a war adventure note there. Now, have they fixed? The Komodo dragon. Oh, it's stuck in a hole. Doesn't look like what they have. So there, this should be full of like Komodo dragons that you can harvest for ichor. 
but in single player it appears to be bugged. And it's still bugged, so they're, they're not here. Okay, right, let's head to the bottom here. Let's put our sickle on there. Grab some glowing goop. Uh, okay, nothing in there, but in those chests, if you come here and you don't have a, a bow with you, which you do need, the, you can get s enough stuff to make some basic bows and uh, arrows, stone head arrows, which is enough to do the puzzles with. So we just have to head for the door, because there's nothing to fight in here. There we go. Go here, in this way. Stairs. It's whispering to us. Right, here's the first issue. So, in these dungeons, you can't climb. So, you're not able to climb. So, we can't get through there. So, this is the first puzzle. And you can just see up there the arrow sticking into the stone. So, we go back a bit. Get our bow out. Hit the target, it goes in, and the water should start rising. It goes. Right, and then we can just swim over and we can get through. And then open that door. Here's the second puzzle, because we need to get up there. We've got a target again. Here comes the water. And we're up through the next door. Huge surprise. Get that one. The water rises, so we can get over here. And then there's one in this side. And that lets us get through, but the next bit through there we can't get through. So we we'll come over to this side. There's another target. And just need to wait for the water to come back up again. comes. And we'll get through here and that second target gets this water up, which I think we've just missed. Yeah. So we'll have to wait for that to go down and then come back up again. If you haven't got the water going, because you can't climb out, there are always these like broken rocks and stuff like that act as a little ramp to let you get back up go and get that second target again. So you'll, you won't get stuck. Okay, alright, I think we now move into the skeleton section. Here's the first skeleton we have to fight. Oh. 
I'm going to battle skill into it. Where did Tessa go? Oh, he's just standing there. And if we were to chop up the skeleton and get some bones, we can then craft with our bone and our glowing goop, we can craft our new torch. There we go. Much, much better torch. Alright, so there's more skeletons in here. Oh, cool this one. Down. Some up here. He's got a Tafari sword on him. Oh. oh, I think she's uh, from a taming time. She's set on attack nothing as the default setting. Because when I got, I uh, ended up instead of using her to do the taming. I found that it's actually much quicker if I do it myself. So I just sent her in with attack nothing to go and pull the mobs and tank them. Just basically face tank them while I killed off the other mobs and then tamed the the guy at the end. So if we set you to guard me now, she will now actually start fighting. Right, next room, more puzzles. Uh, so let me try and remember where this one is. Let me come round this way. And then up this ramp. And there's the target down the far end. So because the drop would do a power shot on this one, so it goes straighter. Go. Where's the water? You have to be careful not to get stuck underneath the, the edge here. There we go. And we're in. Alright, so this is just a big circular room here. The boss is in the middle. But he is guarded by some skeletons around the outside. Oh. Shoot an enemy. Okay, so we don't have the best bow and arrow yet, and we don't have... There it is! That's them all. Alright, so I'm with my daggers down here. Yep, that's them all. It's just about to start. And I thought there's chests in here as well. So we came in. Was chests in here around the edge. Nope. So either I'm misremembering or they've been removed. But either way, they probably didn't have much exciting stuff in them. Okay, so my tactics with this guy is I hold my shield up. Does his spitty spitty thing? Oh, he's got to go down. So when he goes down, he'll then flop back up and then daggers. Get as much bleed on him as we can. Back to the shield. And he'll just spray his acid around. So it's good that Tessa's not going into the pit. Early game, they, you had to be really careful with your followers because they would just run into the pit of acid and just get poisoned. Here we go again. Oh, which again it is doing now. Alright. 
She has gone into the pit, but you can see she's not getting any poison. Aha, there we go. Um, what do we want? Let's try the skinning knife. So we hit into the pit and skin them. The staff, we get fangs, a reptile hide, and we get this book that teaches us herpetology, abyssal daggers, various other bits and bobs. So that's the the armor. Uh, where is that knowledge? There you go. Abyssal arrows or abysmal arrows. Yeah, abysmal or abyssal. Didn't get any of the meat at all. Uh, we, I guess if we used the cleaver, we'd have got the meat, but we got the fangs and the reptile hide instead. That's it's not a problem. It's easy to run back in. Uh, abyssal. There we go. The daggers, the sword. Yeah, health twenty, damage twenty, eighteen, ten. Uh, and then we've got Herpetology, which teaches you the reptilian armor, and we'll also you'll also get the epic armor when you're when you're level sixty. Okay, so that is the Abyssal Remnant and the Dregs Dungeon complete. So this event here will take you back out. The dregs is basically in, in lower the sewers of the unnamed city. And if we run up the hill, our horse should be here. There it is. Okay, right. So I'm now going to ride back to base. So back the way we came, back to base, and then we'll. We'll see what we're going to do from there. Okay, see you soon. Okay, Doc, we're back at base. So I've dropped all my stuff off and my various chests. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to craft a set of reptilian armor just to see what stats it has after uh, the 3.0 reptilian. Here we go. So the, the Ones with the purple bits round outside is the epic stuff, which we we need perfected paddings to make that, but that's a level 60 thing. So these are the normal ones. So medium padding, uh, seven reptile hide and several fangs. So we've got 22 fangs. I think the head, the chest and the legs all need seven fangs, but the boots and the gloves don't. It looks like they do for the epic ones, but uh, yeah, but not not the normal ones. So let's make a head, chest, legs, hands, and hands, and feet. There we go. So it gives you. So I think it used to be a, a grit set when we had it pre 3.0. So this is the armor I wore for the majority of my beginning guide series. So I'm not going to wear it this time, but I do like the look of it, especially once you've dyed it as well. But yeah, plus seven stamina for the head, for the chest, plus 28 health for the legs, plus 28 health for the gloves. And plus seven stamina again for the boots. So it's it's a it's a, it's a pretty good set. You've got a twenty-one stamina altogether, and then fifty-six health added to you as well. So I'll I'll briefly stick it on just so we can have a look at it. Medium set, of course. So. 
397. The health has been up to 455. Compared to 399. But the plus the plus health that you get from these set as well makes it gives us actually more health, but obviously not as much armor. So there we go, the reptilian set. Oh, did I actually let you see it? <laughs> Let's try that again. Right. There we go. So yeah, very much a, a gator set. And uh, in the beginner's guide series, I think I, I think I stayed with the green while it was normal, but once I made the epic set, I dyed it white. Which looks pretty cool. Which, uh, of course, is very reminiscent of the Sobek armor that you get uh, from... Whoa, what's the name of that camp? Zalthar's something or other refuge or something that's up here. And you fight the croc, croc guys and he drops pieces of the white epic armor. So, yeah, very cool. Alright, let's put our normal armor back on and we'll uh, stick it back in here. There we go. Right, so the next thing I want to do to just move on, I'm going on the, out the wrong door, straight into the water. Let's try that again. Is the other thing we got off of the Abyssal Remnant was this Staff of the Triumvirate. And if we look at the, the, the description here, it says a staff found in the pit. It's marked with an ancient language. It's a, a gift from and there's, there's words missing uh, but it talks about must be brought to the tower of the bat and placed on the altar to awakening um, and if you notice the words that are missing the letters that are left are b e t r a y e r or betrayer so nice little item so what we're going to do is we're going to nip to the tower of the bats and we're going to activate this staff while we can. So I'm going to jump on the horse, we're going to take Tessa with us as before. The Tower of the Bat is this bit here. So we're essentially going to head up up here and uh, get to the Tower of Bats that way. Okay, that's a bit of a ride, so I will see you when we're outside. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are. That is the Tower of the Bats up there. You can see where the, the bridge was broken from, it was up there. So we'll, we can't actually get up there without a bit of a climb. So we're going to have to climb up here and we'll have to get rid of these rock noses first. So let's get off of here. That short sword is just awesome. Ah, oh, oh yeah, I need to put a mod kit on it now that we've got the Tinkerer's Bench. need to get it modded up. Yep, it's gone. Right, you wait down here, and we are going to climb up. Where are we going to climb up? Up here. Here we go. Right, let's see if we can get up the top easy. Up here, and we should get a rest here. Put the shield and stuff away. Get a rest there. Oh, fallen, fallen into the ground. But got a rest. Here we go. Up this bit. Oh, 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 oh no. Glitching, no. Okay, rest up here. These little overhangs are causing us a little bit of an issue. And then up this bit. And the giant, oh, giant king statues. And then over here, and that should. Oh. Oh, 
That was that was not good. Let's try that again. Edge there we can rest on. I think that is. Yep. Okay, and then jump. Jump. Okay. Here we are. So we've got some lower stones here. In the beginning, I think they're both the same. Yeah. In the beginning, it was and then we head up the stairs. Of an utter void. With the cold winds of cosmic space. And there's the bat demon up there. We've we got Tower of Bats. So that's a journey step as well, well I believe. Here it is, yep. The void. Uh, there's a book the here. The heavens for cooking, wisdom. specialist cooking at eight. Alright, we're going to have to fight this guy. Back to the war maker, the archivist. The albino the bat demon. The thing to watch for is when he goes up in the air, because he'll do a big... No, I thought that was it there. Stop, 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 stop. Get in behind him for my 15% extra damage. Chunk of our health away there. Ooh. There he goes, up in the air. Slam. Can't get him behind because he's pushed up against the edge. Doesn't mar what we chop them up with. Let's try the cleaver. We've got a head, feral flesh, a uh, demon blood, but albino bat demon. So we can get rid of the feral flesh. This is what we need go along with this because we then go up to the top here and there's the altar of the bat we put that in and it put in the the staff and what just looks like normal blood but that doesn't match up exactly with that so it's not obvious that it's that actual blood that you have to put in but the bat and that blood and it crafts the awakened staff Just takes a wee second to to craft up. We did get a demon bat head that we can stick on our wall once we get a proper base. Right, if we take in fact can, can we interact with it? No. So we actually have to take it and then move I can't can't do it up here because we're not allowed to do anything up here. We have to come down a bit. Here we go. I'm going to place it down here. And then we can talk to it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I live again! <laughs> oh, may the earth tremble at my coming! <laughs> and all of that. <laughs> oh, hello! Ah, well, I have you to thank for awakening me, yes? Oh, you've done a very great thing. My former masters were yeah, upset with my advice. I was thrown into that sewer in a bit of peak. Apparently, my endless wisdom was only at a premium when they were winning the war! Talk to it again. Oh, pardon me. I've been trapped in a vat of slug feces for a few thousand years. It makes the throat a little raw. As if I have a throat. Now, 
under the terms of our agreement. Now I promise to serve you, providing wisdom and knowledge until the day I'm returned to the one who summoned me. And in return, you promise not to throw me into any sewers. <laughs> Sound good? Excellent. Now, let's find out exactly where and when we are. I can see you're wearing a slave bracelet, which means we can't be that far from the capital, or you'd be a pile of exploded guts. <laughs> so logically, uh, we must find the map room. Now, I need to get the lay of the land. Oh, look at this place. I haven't seen such a mess since the fall of Volusia. And look, the archivist. Oh, sorry looking shade that he is. <laughs> Uh, he could probably tell us something about the current situation. Uh, besides, they used to be thick as thieves with my old master. Together, they created that bracelet you're wearing. We might be able to tell you how to get rid of it. Just don't believe anything he says about me. Okay, so that basically tells you what you need to do next in the quest to complete the game. So it's telling us the next thing we need to do is to go to find the archivist in the map room. So that's something we'll have to do later on. But yeah, that'll do for today. We've went off and we've done the Dregs dungeon. And we've got the, the staff of the Triumvirate and we've come up to the Tower of the Bats, killed the Bat Demon and awakened the staff who is now telling us that we need to go find the archivist and learn all about the map room. So I, I don't think we'll do that in the next episode, but certainly that's that's the next step in the progression of the of the story. So that'll do for today. Thank you so much for watching once again. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, come join us on Discord, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye now. <laughs>